Um, hi, my name's Steve Ansel. I'm from Mayo Clinic. Uh, the discussion was a lot about what's different about the biology in lymphoma, what can we understand from the biology in lymphoma, and how can we utilize that in treating patients using immune therapies for patients with lymphoma. And the discussion was largely around blocking inhibitory signals, specifically blocking signals through CTLA-4 and PD-1 using drugs like ipilimumab, nivolumab, and pembrolizumab. And we were discussing how this has had a really good result in patients with Hodgkin lymphoma, very encouraging results, high response rates that have been very durable and beneficial for patients. But contrasting that with other diseases where it has been a lot less e effective, and the discussion was why the difference and how could we potentially change that in the future. There have been a number of unusual, less common histologies where it has also been very effective, and we discussed, again, what's similar between those histologies and Hodgkin lymphoma. We also discussed about other ways in which you might be able to activate the immune system and create a better response for patients and how that's still a little fledgling because only a small number of patients continue to benefit. But all told, these are really exciting times uh, for the whole world of immunotherapy, multiple new options. And so one of the main takeaway messages was it's going to be about combinations, utilizing uh, different approaches together to get the best result for patients. So a really exciting time talking about novel and new immunotherapies.